Alright, Shalom. We want to give all praises, glories, and honors to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakudash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth, as well as men of like mind. Shalom, Wa, Fasad, which means peace and mercy to the elect of the nation of Israel, whom are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the seed line of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We must gather here in America, which is Babylon the Great, and abroad. To you we say Shalom, and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Ratazah, you are edified. We're going to go into the spirit of prophecy today, and without further ado. This is Matthew 24, verse 12. Right. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many, many Israelites, okay, shall wax cold. The word wax means to grow, to be enlarged, okay? It's going to be a very chaotic, a very ill time in the times to come. That is the times of Jacob's trouble. And it says that because iniquity shall abound, and the word iniquity means sin upon sin. Now what is sin? First John chapter 3 verse 4, sin is transgression of the laws of the heavenly father Yahweh, whom the world ignorantly and willingly calls God, Jehovah, so-called. And his son, our Lord, and our Savior, his only true name is Yahweh Shai, man. Yah means he, and Yahweh Shai means deliverance. So because iniquity shall abound, because sin upon sin shall abound, and only the nation of Israel can sin, the love of many shall wax cold, because I was saying to the brothers earlier before the camera came on, all these people that have been protesting those so-called Black Lives Matter, having all these different, you know, gatherings, and functions and all this different stuff, conventions. Little do these people, oh, man. Little do these people know that in the times to come, the love of many is going to wax cold. It's going to grow so cold to the point where all these people are going to start. Be, they're going to be killing themselves. You know, the lack of bread. We're going to be starving because a famine is right around the corner, man. Okay, so. That, this is second edge of 15 to 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Right, so the word woe means destruction. Okay, destruction to the world of the wicked. Who is the wicked? Esau Edom, the so called white man. Okay, today they are known as the so called Caucasian race. They are the wicked, according to the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4. The Lord is saying, Woe to the world, woe to the world of the wicked, woe to the world of two thirds of the nation of Israel. Okay. This is Job 9 and 24. Right. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Right. The earth and the rulership of the earth has been given into the hand, which in the Hebrew is Yad, which means strength, power, majesty, might of the earth. That's what? It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It's given into the hands of the wicked. Now, who is the wicked? The wicked, again, pursuant to the book of Malachi chapter one, verse four, is the nation of Esau Edom. The red Hebrew Edomites are the wicked, okay? Beginning with their hegemony, their rulership, in which the earth, the power of the earth, the strength of the earth has been given into their hands, but for a season. It says he covereth the faces of the judges thereof. He covereth, which means to conceal. Okay, he concealed, he concealeth the what? The faces the of faces the judges. Of the judges thereof. Now who's the judges? First and foremost, the judges is the heavenly father Yahweh. Why Yahweh shot? Followed by the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. When did they cover the faces of the judges thereof? During the time going back of the Renaissance. Alright? After they came back into power during the time of the Renaissance, they covered the faces of our Lord, Yahweh Shah. Okay? Yeah. Because what they did was they whitewashed the images, the paintings. Okay? It says, if not, where and who is he? So if not, where and who is the wicked? If Esau eat of the so-called white man and, and the earth has been given into his hand, 
where and who is he? That's the question. And the Lord said earlier in the book of 2nd verse 15, O to the world and them that dwell therein. We understand that the, the world right now is in the state that it's in because why? It is. It has been given into the hands of the wicked. Okay? And when the wicked is in, is, is in authority, the people mourn. Okay? Got that account for us, Mac? Yeah. This is First Maccabees 3 and 48. And made open the book of the law wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. And that's what the heathens did. Going all the way back to the Greeks. Because this is when this account was written during the time of the Greeks, during the time of the Hellenistic period, when Alexander's generals were in rulership. Specifically, uh, the, the, the Ptolemaic dynasty, and you also had um, the Seleucid dynasty. Okay, because prior to that, they had something known as the War of the Diadechi. Okay, the, 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 the wars between uh, you know Alexander's and you know and, and his generals. Okay, and the only two that were left were Ptolemy and Seleucus. Okay, and those two established respectively the, the Ptolemaic dynasty and the Seleucid dynasty. And then tears of the folk of Epiphanes came out of the Seleucid dynasty. Okay, he was the one that sent out that decree at that time for all the different nations, specifically of the nation of Israel, to discontinue from their worshiping of the scriptures of the heavenly father Yahweh Jesus and Yahweh Shai and to then practice the customs of the Greeks. That's why it was known as a Hellenist. They became Hellenized. Oh uh, yeah. So this is second this is 15 and 14. Right. Whoa! To the world and them that dwell therein. Right. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh. Right, for the sword and their destruction draw nigh. Okay? That is the reason why the Lord said, what? Woe, which means destruction. Unto the world, the world of the wicked, he saw him as well as the world of the nation of Israel, specifically of two thirds of the nation of Israel. Because you see the Lord Yahweh, the son Yahweh Shai, get to see kill uh, 30, what was that, 34? Because you see the Lord is, is sharpening a, a sword, okay? That he's going to give into the hands of the slayer. Where if not the sword and what? His name. That slave is referring to Esau Edom, who's going to come down like a flood and like a madman spirit none upon two thirds of the nation of Israel for their wickedness, for their iniquity. We had just read earlier. Go ahead. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. Beautiful. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. There's going to be race wars out here in the streets of America, Babylon, the great man. Why is that? Because our Lord Yahweh Shai said earlier in the book of Matthew 24 and 12 that because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So all these people out here that have been together in bundles protesting for so-called Black Lives Matter and these different marches and, and, they, and that these different conventions, so-called and all this bullshit, guess what? The time is coming when their love towards one another is going to wax extremely cold. And they're going to start killing each other. They're going to start robbing each other's homes for the lack of bread, victuals, bread and water, you know, food and drink. Right? It says, it says, and swords in their hands. And swords in their hands. Again, a sword is an instrument of cruelty. So these people are going to have swords in their hands. They're going to have guns, pistols, assault rifles, grenade launchers, you know arrows and bows, knives, spears. They're going to have these different instruments of food to kill each other. Right? It says, for there shall be sedition among men. For there shall be sedition. For there shall be division, separation, distinction among men in the times of Jacob's trouble, in the times to come, in which we are in the beginning stages of Jacob's trouble. Okay? Right? And invading one another. And invading one another. Why is that? Because there's going to be a lack of bread. So guess what? You're going to be seeing men running down the street with guns, you know, or with knives, machetes, breaking into the homes of other individuals 
killing their husbands, you know, killing the husbands of, of the households, raping the wives and the daughters, and taking their food, like in the movie The Road. You know, the Road, the Book of Eli. Because guess what? Cannibalism is also coming back, man. What? It says, it says, for there shall be sedition among men, right. and invading one another, right. they shall not regard their kings nor princes. As we see now, these people don't give a, a heck about the powers that, that be in this country right now. They only care about, oh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna, how do we feel? What are we gonna eat? What are we gonna have a say in X, Y, and Z? They don't care about, you know, the president, the authorities, the police forces. They don't care about all that shit. Right? It says, and they won't care, and they especially they won't especially care during the times of Jacob's trouble, man, because it's gonna be a free for all out here in the streets of the heart of Babylon the Great. Right? And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. There you go. The course of their action is gonna stand in their power in their own hands, man. At their own discretion. So it's gonna be really bad out here, man. Finish, finish. Okay. It says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Why? Why? Because the cities are, the cities are going to be closed off. Your bridges are, are going to be closed. So a man will not be able to go from one city to the next, from one state to the next. Because everything is going to be closed off due to the insurrection that, that is going to be occurring in and throughout the land of America. Actually, man, this, this policies that the civil white man is actually uh, putting on a large scale as we speak. You know, through oh, this, through this COVID nineteen. Yeah, All right, you know, a lot of a lot of, a lot of states, such as Mississippi, Arkansas, Idaho, Iowa, Kansas. They got a, a whole list of states that you, you can't really travel to and uh, to and fro from. Because of the outbreak, a COVID-19 outbreak, and you've also got some over here in New York City. They got a, uh, uh, they got a, they got a, uh, they got a, uh, a big night uh, curfew, right? Yeah. With the, the trains, well, the, 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 the uh, trains and buses, the, uh, the public transportation system is closed from 1 a.m. to like 5 a.m. Yeah. So you can't travel no more. <laughs> but see, these these are policies that the civil white man is already having in the process as we speak. All right, and there's a lot of whistleblowers out there, certain whistleblowers out there that say we don't 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 expect for this to go away. Right? Don't expect for this to go away. It's just gonna it might quell down for a little bit, but then it's gonna come up. It's gonna ramp up some more. All right, because this is the time that the Most High, all right, got uh, uh, got uh, come into pass according to the so-called white man, what he calls order out of chaos. Right. Order out of chaos. That's when we read those scriptures. The Spirit keeps on hitting me with that that concept that he saw, you know, that he put in himself. Like, like, uh, order out of chaos, because yeah. things going 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 fuck wild and crazy. You gotta bring order. That's his. That's going to be his excuse. The extra, the extra six hundred dollar, you know, bonus check that people was receiving on, 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 on unemployment for the past few months. That's about to. That, that's about to get cut off. So guess what? Now, what's going to happen is that's going to lead to people not having having enough money to not only one sustain themselves and to also two cause them to get evicted even faster because a little money that they probably had saved up they wasn't saving that they wasn't saving that and even if they did have a little money saved up and they were adding that little extra six hundred dollars to it it's still not going to be enough yeah. even with that um they was coming in the economy, crippling the economy. Yeah. You pumping all that trillions of dollars, yeah. stimulus packages into the system. It's like a balloon. Eventually, it's going to pop. Right. And the, and the, and, the, and the high ups already know it's going to pop. That's what they want. Right. You know, right. An economic collapse. Right. Right. Let's speak hypothetically too. Now, let's say they don't cut the six hundred dollar uh, extra benefit of the unemployment. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if they don't 
how long is it going to be? Exactly. What is the stipulations that they're going to put on, you know, just giving people extra six hundred uh, dollars uh, for an uh, uh, unspecified amount of time? Right. Right. That's then, well, then we can speculate about the vaccine. Yeah. We can, you know, do the spare. We can start talking about those types of things and uh, 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 linking them with the scriptures. Yeah. And real quick, what's gonna happen? People's gonna stop spending, man. Once they get, once they stop getting the six hundred dollars, what is keeping, what is keeping the economy? I mean, I'll just know the both water right now. Yeah. The people spend them, man. Yeah. The people go to the restaurants. People are buying this, buying that. But when you, once they shut down the money, people's not people's gonna be tight, tight and shit. And therefore, this whole system gonna plummet. Man, it's gonna be the greatest fall that you've ever seen, that America's ever seen, man. Yeah. And very soon, again, people won't be able to sustain their housing. And then we're gonna, then we're gonna start seeing evictions, people. You know, losing their homes because they couldn't pay off the mortgages. You know, I was looking at the news yesterday. A lady's about to lose her home. She got a daughter. She's about to lose her home because all that work, uh, mortgage that she hadn't paid for the past few months built up so much to the point where it's unpayable right now for her. And it's not just going to be her, but it's also going to be other people as well. And then you're going to have the tenants as well. You know, people that, it's, you know, they live in uh, different apartments, people's homes and whatnot. If, if, exactly, if the landlord doesn't have the means to an end to pay the mortgage, which really paying rent to a landlord is really paying his mortgage, if they don't have that, then guess what's going to happen? Not only is the landlord going to lose that home, but also that tenant that lives there, they're going to, they're going to lose it as well. And they, guess where they're going to be? They're going to be living on the street. Like, look, look at California. California right now, that's like, you know, the, the land of the homeless, man. Yeah, a bunch of tent cities all over the world. Yeah. That's why we just read you, this, you know, to the spirit, to the scriptures, that the love of many shall wax cold. Because, you see, when, when people have nothing, not, nothing to lose, they lose it all, man. They, they go buck wild. I'm saying. So I got this account real quick. You said people have to lose, they lose yeah, it all. And one of the main things is going to be the lack of bread. That's it. Okay? It says, this is, I'm going to read this. It says, this is 2 Kings 2 and, this is 2 Kings 6 and verse 20. Yeah. It says, and it came to pass when they came into Samaria. So like, yeah, that's it says, this is eight, this is 2nd Edge 15 and 18. For because of their pride, the yeah. city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Yeah, we're seeing these things take its toll in reality, in real time. Yeah. These things are happening. Read that part again. God. This is 2nd Edge 15 and 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The cities, plural, shall be troubled. All right? All those cities, all these different cities, like I mentioned them. Not all of them. There's like too many of them to remember. Yeah. But you got Kansas, Mississippi, uh, Idaho, and this city, that city, man. Uh, all all um, operating at a very low level because of being shut down, locked down. Why? Chicago's one of them. It's a bunch for us. It's a bunch of cities, man. The cities are troubled. Because of what? Oh, the, the pride. Mm -hmm. All right. And what? Wait, what are they proud in? Well, look at look at look at what a look at some white man here. Oh, proud in wickedness, man. Like I was speaking to the brother earlier before the camera, the camera came on. These these people out here, they do all the wrong things, things that they should not often do, yeah. and they're proud at the same time. You know, a lot of them are atheists. A lot of them are uh, fake, crackhead Christians. You know, there's a there's a whole there's a whole uh, uh, list of categories of the kind of the kind of people out here that the Most High is sending judgment on. Mother Earth, yeah, man, Mother Earth, you name it. You know what I'm saying? These are why these things are happening, man. All right. And all praises to your Howbah Shem Yahweh Shai. All praises to your Howbah Shem Yahweh Shai. And may, may, may your Howbah Shem Yahweh Shai allow this thing to get worse and worse, man. Bring us the hell, bring us the hell about it, this situation in America, man. 
That's the only way, man. Things got to get worse before they get better. It says, yep, it's the second address is at 10 and 9, uh oh, back to 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. That's it. So because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and their houses shall be destroyed. Why? Because men are going to be invading the houses of one another. Get to commit, you know, ca ca cannibalism and all this shit, you know. So it's gonna be really bad, man. Go ahead. It says, "But shall destroy the houses with the sword." Right. And you gotta, you Ooh. gotta paint. Let's paint the picture too. You look at certain movies. A man breaks into another man's home. You got the whole family there. You got a guy got a gun, and the the wife, you know, and the husband always, please say, you know, don't shoot my my daughter, my son. And then the guy's like, you know what, man? I don't give a fuck about all that. I just want your food, I want everything you got, your clothes, your shoes, and then I'm going to go. But guess what? He still kills them. I'm saying like, this, there was a video that's called, um, How Is Gonna Go Now? You, could, you better should check that out. How Is Gonna Go Now? You know, it's a scenario that, you know, that I was given on how, you know, shit will eventually go down. Especially according to the scriptures, man. Because everything that man was saying in that video, everything aligned with Second Nessus, the 15th chapter. Okay, you're gonna start seeing the, pro the the prices of goods increase. Okay, it's gonna get real worse out here. Man. He even sold his daughter. Yeah, they even sold. Like, there you go. Prostituted his own daughter. There you go. It says 19, Second Nessus, 15 and 19. It says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. But shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. Yeah. Because going, we're going to their houses, but before going into their houses, they might shoot the house up, kill everybody inside, or if not, break into the home, barge into the home, you know, put them at gunpoint, take all the food, all the goods, kill the family, and then destroy the house, blow the house up, you know, like you see in the fire, set it on fire. So all these times are, a, are ahead, man. And all you proud niggas and women, man, the most is gonna destroy you, man. The how about Shimmy I was shot is gonna destroy you people, man. You proud Babylonians, man. You proud two thirds of the nation of Israel, man. Proud yeah, proud, proud, proud of nothing. Oh look at me, I got I got the the, the, the latest new car. You know? You 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 people are not Focus, focusing on being better for, you're focus, focusing on being better than. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I got the most. Mm, you know what I'm saying? It says, because of the because of the lack of bread right. and for great tribulation. Right. So because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, there's going to be a famine again in the land of America, man. Babylon the Great. That will be destroyed with thermonuclear fire. I knew it was the sun. Right. This is 2 Kings 6 and 25. And there was a great famine in Samaria. And behold, they besieged it. Yeah. Until Ass's head was sold for four score pieces of silver. That's coming back. Yep. Look at Masada. Look at what happened during the uh, 70 AD. When the Romans ransacked Jerusalem. Yeah. And when they encamped around Jerusalem, blocking off import and export. They blocked off, there, right? they blocked off you know, Todd, they, cut, they cut them in. Exactly. They, kept, they kept Jake inside. Right. And then it started becoming in-house fighting. Exactly. Right. Yeah. That's why the Lord said flee to the mountains. Yeah, right. you say, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So 
the elect took heed to that, but you know, niggas didn't take heed. You yep. got the um the zealots and stuff, they wanted to be carnal. Yep. They went to war with the Romans, you know what I mean? Yep. The Lord said flee into the mountains. Yeah, and that's what happened. That's why the scripture says that what? Disobedience oh. is as what? Witchcraft. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what's the, what's the penalty for witchcraft? Death. Death, yeah. So all you wicked ass niggas, you're witches and you're warlocks, man. And your Haobashi Miyawisha is going to destroy you Thursday, man. Right. The I fire. A, I got a little more homework. It's like this. It says until an ass's head was sold for four score pieces of silver. Until an ass's head was sold for two what? Four score. Four score. A score is 20. Yeah, so a four score, that's 80 pieces 80 of silver. Pieces. And what? It says of silver and the full part of a cab of dove's dung for yeah. five pieces of silver. Dove's dung. So niggas bird was shit. eating bird yeah, shit, bird man. Shit. Oh. Yeah. Hey, ain't nothing lawful about uh, ass's head either, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Showing you that they was eating whatever they could find, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it's going to be out here in the near future, man. People going to be hunting cats, dogs, rats, rats yeah. raccoons. you know, raccoons, possums, and eventually people. Yeah. And, and, and it said what? Oh, uh, 40, um, what is it? Four score? That's a lot of silver for, for a damn donkey head, man. That's 80 pieces of silver for a damn donkey head, man. And at that time, that was a lot of money. Yeah. Because, hey, didn't Judas Iscariot sold out the law for 40 pieces? 30. What was it, 30 pieces? It's 40. it's 40 pieces of silver. It's 40 pieces of silver, which, at that time, that's a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So people going to be, that's why the scriptures say, your gold and silver ain't going to save you, man. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? It's going to get to the point where it's going to get real bad. And, you know, your possessions ain't going to save you, man. It's gonna get real bad out here, man. Yeah. Bird shit for, for five pieces of silver. Bird shit, bro. Yeah, and that was back then. Now, just imagine what it's gonna be like now. That's why it says in Jeremiah 30 and 7, alas, for that day is great, so that none is what? Like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, which the word even is Old English, which is. So Jacob's trouble is gonna be a very unprecedented time, man. My president of me has never, never known or, or seen before. So, do hey man, two thirds of you, you got a lot of, a lot of hell coming down the line, man. I got something real quick. This is Jeremiah fifty-one and six. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Yep. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto a recompense. Right. So the Lord said to flee out of the midst of Babylon. How do we do that? Spiritually. Micah chapter two verse ten. Arise ye and depart. This is not your rest. It is polluted. It shall surely destroy you, even with a sword destruction. So we ought to spiritually arise and flee out of the midst of Babylon spiritually by taking heed to the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh that are able to save our souls. Okay, so that we may not be left here to be cut off with the iniquity of America, Babylon the Great. That was it. That was that was the point. Yep. This is Second Ezra sixteen and seventeen. It's seven, no, 16. Oh, you finished with that? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It was a little more. Oh, yeah, finish, finish it up. Finish it up. Because that that's, you know, that's a bit of count. get all that meat off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like, go back. It's like, it was 30 pieces to the it was 30? Yeah, All right, Salaki, right. the brother was right. You know, correction on um, Jesus Jewish sky was 30 pieces of silver. Go ahead, brother, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, all right. This is second edge of 16 and 16. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returns not backward, even so the plagues that shall be set upon the earth shall not return again. There you go. So as an arrow that is shot of a mighty archer, and once it is shot, it returns not back from the bow that is shot, that it was shot from. Likewise, with the plagues of Yahweh Shemia was shot, be sent upon the world, upon the earth, and they shall not return. And that's synonymous, linked directly to Zechariah 14 and 12. Let's get it. This shall be the plague. From those arrows is gonna come the plague. Hence the fire. That's right. This is Zechariah 14 and verse 12. And it reads. Remember, we have we have to we have to envision the scriptures, man. As we read the scriptures, we have to envision the scriptures, we have to paint the picture. It says, and this shall be the plague wherewith Yahweh by Shim Shah will smite all the people. That have fought against Jerusalem. Who are the people that have fought against Jerusalem? First of all, who is Jerusalem? Yep. Jerusalem is the nation of Israel. That's 
Jerusalem in the Hebrew is Yashalam. Okay? Yerushalam. Yerushalam. Which means city of peace. Okay? Jerusalem is a people before it is a place. Or it is a people that comprise a place. Before it is considered a physical place in itself. Okay? So the Lord has said, so the Lord said what? Read that again? It says, and this shall be the plague. Well, with Yahweh Hashem Yahushah will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Right, all the people that have fought against Jerusalem is the wicked Esau Edom, as well as the heathen nation, as, as well as two thirds of the nation of Israel that fight against the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, by being rebellious, by not taking heed to the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahushah. So, really, they're not fighting against us, they're fighting against the whole side. Right. It says, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. What is going to cause the flesh of those that have fought against Jerusalem to consume away while they stand upon their feet? ICBM nuclear missile fire, man. That's right, that's right. Well, that that's is the what, only thing. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. Because dude. it said in the book of Job, the 20th chapter, that what? A fire not blown yep. shall consume them. That's right. Because... A fire not blown, we understand that a fire that is blown requires three elements, uh, which is called a, uh, a fire triangle. We need heat, air, um, wind, and, and uh, no, no, heat, oxygen, and a few. Okay, okay. Those are the three elements that you need to light a fire. But a fire not blown is going to consume those that fought against Jerusalem. What's that? ICBM nuclear missiles. Because the way it works is. You know, you have like a chain reaction, and then you know the, the, the detonates, and then the, the heat comes out, the warhead, and it destroys. Right, and it destroys. You know, the things that are around it. It's a very simple term. Very simple. You know what I'm saying so. Uh, you know, a little more. It says, and their eyes shall, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Right. So their their literal eyes are going to consume away in their holes. And also, they're out there, what they see for the future. Over here in the market, Babylon the Great, that's going to come to you away in their holes. Go ahead. That was all. Real quick, real quick, bro. This is on to prove what you're saying. This is Isaiah 9 and 5. It says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Right. So for every, every battle that was fought in antiquity, which means old in the ancient world, was fought with men going to war, one against another with swords and spears and staves and arrow and bows in their hands, as well as shields. Shields. You know, they stabbed each other up, blood and all that, in reports, you know, gushing out. But this war is going to be fought with what? Burning and fuel of fire. That's going to be the burning and fuel of fire that are going to be coming from the ICBM nuclear missiles. Go ahead. This is Isaiah 54 and 16. Yep. Behold, I have created the smith that blow up the coals in the fire. Right, so let's look at a smith. A smith is someone that makes weapons. And the Lord, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, has created the what? The smith that blow up the coals in the fire. Picture a smith sitting down at a coal, blowing the coal, you know, blowing, you know, a weapon you know, in the fire. In other words, he's fashioning that weapon. You know, he's, he's at work. And Amon De Smith are those German scientists. Okay? It says, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. Right. For, remember, for his work. Who's the his referring to? The heavenly for the Yahweh. To his son Yahweh Shai. Because let's paint the picture through the spirit. Picture a king is, is preparing to go to war. Now he goes to, to a blacksmith and say, look, according to this blueprint, I want you to create this form of weapon form. I'll leave and, I, I, and I, then I'll come back and I'll pick that weapon up. So he gives the blacksmith the blueprint. The, the, the blacksmith then creates the weapon via the blueprint and the king comes back for the blacksmith and then, he, you know, he takes out that instrument, you know, which is that sword for that king in preparation for his war. Read on. It says, and I have created the waster to destroy. Right, and I, and I have created the waster to destroy. Now the reason I, I painted that picture through the spirit was to also 
make the point that the scripture says in the book of Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 25 that the Lord had, had opened up his armory and had brought forth the weapons of his indignation. Now we know that the armory is a place where weapons are kept. So he collects the, the sword from the blacksmith, he goes and he places it inside of his armory. Now the day of war comes, now he's going to take that sword out of the armory to use it. Got it. Yep, this is Ezekiel 21 and 29. Yep. It reads down to 32. Yep. And it actually goes hand in hand with that in uh, Second Lazarus because it said, uh, shall a, when an arrow is shot, shall it turn back into where it was shot? Check this out. Ezekiel 21 and 29. While they see vanity unto thee, while they divine a lie unto thee, to bring thee upon the necks of them that are slain of the wicked, whose day is come, when their iniquity shall have an end. Shall I cause it to return into a sheep? Wow. I will judge thee wow. in the place where thou was created in the land of thy nativity. And I will pour out mine indignation upon thee. I will blow against thee in the fire of my wrath and deliver thee into the hand of brutish men and skillful to destroy. Thou shalt be for fuel to the fire. Uh, See, and we read it earlier, right? About the, uh, uh, you know, uh, the ancient battles. Yeah, they were, Isaiah. You know, yeah, they was, they was fought with, uh, you know, weapons of war. Yep. But this is going to be with burning and fuel for the fire. fire. All right, so how, who's going to be the fuel for the fire? Who's going to make people actual fuel for the fire? Okay. By, and by way of the fire, is going to come through those arrows and people are missing you. So this is, this is no joke. All right? This is why you Israelites are supposed to be re to repent, man. But two-thirds of you are not. I'm talking about the elect. All right? This is Ezekiel 21 32. Thou shalt be for fuel to the fire. Thy blood shall be in the midst of the land. Thou shalt be no more remembered. For I, you how much you have spoken, and that's going to be the yeah, ultimate judgment on America. He said they ain't going to be no more remembered. Hold on, I got to say, that's what you call obliteration. <laughs> the Lord is the Lord is the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Isaiah. Now it's going to be for fuel to the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Isaiah 9 and 19. It says, through the wrath of Yahweh Shemiah Shah of hosts, and is the land darkened, and the people shall be as fuel of the fire. One more time. I'm going to read it again. It says, this is um, Isaiah 9 and 19, through the wrath of the Lord of hosts. That's it's, heavy. It's in Isaiah the ninth chapter? Yeah. In the fifth verse. That's what the last oh, oh, that's okay. Isaiah 19. Oh, 19. Oh, 19. That's the last one. No, 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 that's oh. 9. Oh, that's 9? Yeah, 9 oh, and 19. Yeah. Wow. Right. Isaiah 9 and 19. Through the wrath of the Lord of hosts is the land darkened, and the people shall be as the fuel of the fire. And the people shall be as the fuel of the fire. fire. So even within the very same uh, yeah, chapter, same chapter yeah. right, in the book, <laughs> the Most High breaks it down. He said the people are going to be the fuel to the fire. Huh? It says, no man shall spare his brother. Uh, hey man, obliteration. I got something uh, real quick. This is Jeremiah 9 and 7. Therefore thus said the Lord of armies, behold, I will melt them wow. and try them. Wow. For how shall I do for the daughter of my people? Right, right. So that goes, link, that links perfectly with Ezekiel the 24th chapter now. Read that again. This is Jeremiah 9 and 7. Therefore, thus said Yahweh of armies, Behold, I will melt them and try them. For how shall I do for the daughter of my people? This is like an answer 16 to 1. Woe, woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Bewail your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. A sword is set upon you, and who may turn it back? Right, that's the arrow. That's the end of that. The scripture where it says, the Lord said, uh, my my uh, sword shall be bathed in heaven. I think it's in the spirit. I got it right here. Read that real quick. It said, it said what? The sword, right? Because first it said arrows, 
and then it's saying sword. Yep. So is it different? No, it's talking about the same yep. instrument. Yep. A sword is sent among who may turn it back. An arrow sent among who may go. That's it. Because the arrow is the sword, and the sword is the arrow. It's it's like it's a uh, it's, it's synonymous. It's a weapon. Sword is the weapon. That's right. The sword is the weapon. Oh, and you and you got a movie. Called Broken, Broken Arrow. Arrow. Broken oh, Arrow. Let's talk about that too. But, uh, what's what's that dude with, with, with Christian with Christian Bale? Bale? Christian Slater, not Bale, not Batman. Batman. Christian Slater. Yeah. Broken Arrow. It was what? About a stolen missile. Yeah. You know? Oh. It, it was about a stolen ICBM missile. Yeah. That's that that's like the code word in the in, in, in the military for stolen ICBM missile. Broken arrow. Broken arrow. Yeah. This is Isaiah 34, verse 5. It says, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. the sword, the nuclear missile. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. You know what? Through the Spirit, we did have a sign years ago that broke down the different levels, the stages of when a ICBM is shot, and when it's in the air, and it comes back down. Yeah. That's the term when it goes into the air, the atmosphere, whatever, however it works. That's the sword being bathed in heaven. That's that ICBM missile being bathed in heaven. All right? When it's at the highest point, about to detonate, about to come back down. Yeah, I was looking for the word bathed. Yeah. Now the word bathed in the Hebrew is rawah. Rawah. This means to be satiated or, sa or saturated. Have or drink one's fill. To be drunk, be intoxicated, to drench, water abundantly, saturate. So the Lord is going to water the atmosphere with ICBM nuclear missiles over the land of America. Babylon the Great. Saturate. Now let's look at the word saturate. The word saturated means to soak. Woo! Wet. <laughs> it said, it said, it said, uh, wet. It said, wet. It said, uh, wet, uh, true, uh, soak, drench, 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 <laughs> douse, douse, douse. Wow. Man. Wow. Mm. That's the completely cover. Yeah, cover it. Yeah. Impreg impregnate. Woo. <laughs> Oh, you gonna pregnant this bitch with missiles? Yeah. yeah. Really you know, know what I'm about? There, there's, 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 um, one of the elders put us on years ago. There's a, it's like a statistic thing where they got like a, a nuclear map. Okay, okay. Like on the nuclear map, like what, how, how easy it is for America, how, how much, how targeted America is to get uh, a couple of nuclear missiles. It's, it fills the whole damn uh, map. Yep. You know. The bridge. Is, I guess I'm gonna continue on. It says, For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Man. It said, Who's the people of the Lord's curse? Idumia. Yep. Alright. I got something real quick, brother. This is Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. Mm -hmm. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, save the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Wow. All right. So the day is coming that shall burn as an oven. Now, now an oven, oven is an instrument for. that is used to cook things, to bake things. And America is going to burn like an oven, as if you put something inside of an oven, you turn on the oven, you leave it there to bake. Eventually what happens? It cooks. But if you leave it inside of the oven for too long, it burns. It becomes crisp. And that's what's going to happen to America. It's going to be burned to a crisp. It's going to be eviscerated. Completely destroyed, laid waste. It says, For the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Who's the proud? Who's the wicked? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, woman, and child, the so-called Caucasian race. Okay. And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. 
and the day that cometh shall burn them up, save the Lord Yahweh of hosts, that I shall leave them neither root nor branch. Nothing is going to be left in the landmass of America, Babylon the Great, man. Everything that you people see here in America is all going to be destroyed by fire. That's right. Continue on. This is verse 6. It says, The sword of the Lord, Yahweh Shemiah Shah, is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness. That, 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 that reminds me of Isaiah, the 63rd chapter. Yep, I'll explain the Lord some minutes. Oh, matter of fact, get Jeremiah 25, Bible Shah, gotcha. and 32. Because it said that the slain of the Lord, the sword of the Lord, is going to be filled with what? It says it shall be filled with blood. It shall be filled with blood. Meaning that the slain of the Lord, Yahweh, through his son Yahweh Shai, shall be many in the land of America, Babylon the Great, from one end of the continent to the very next. Now let's prove that. This is Jeremiah 25 and 33. The slain of Yahweh, by Shem Shai, shall be at that day. At that day. From one end of the earth even unto the other yeah, end of the earth. One end of the earth, north, south, east, and west, from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth, is the slain of the Lord Yahweh through Son Yahweh Shai going to be many. It's the sword of the Lord Yahweh through Son Yahweh Shai going to be made what? It says, the sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It's going to be filled with blood. It is made fat it with is fatness. Made fat with fat. And with the blood of lambs and goats. Which is a metaphor for all these people out here that are going to be slain. Yep. That are going to be destroyed, burnt to, to, to a crisp. It says, with the fat of the kidneys of ram, for the Lord have a sacrifice yeah, in that, Basra. That's that fuel, brother. Woo. That's, the, that's the fuel. The people, woo. Yeah, that's, heavy, that's, no, heavy that's, 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 that's the fuel. That's the heavy point. 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 It says, for the Lord have a sacrifice in Basra, and the great slaughter in the land of Idumia. Now, Basra was an ancient city of the Edomites. Right. Modern day Basra is a market, Babylon the Great. And the Lord has a controversy with a market, Babylon the Great. Right. That's why the Lord is going to destroy this hole from the inside out, man. Yep. Okay? okay. And we are seeing that right now as we speak and have been. And ultimately, the Lord is going to be able to elect. We're going to be seeing it from the chariots, man, from right. bird's eye view. We're going to be seeing the destruction of America, Babylon the Great, man. Right. Woo, this is heavy. Come on. It says, I'm going to jump to verse 8. For, for it is the day of the Lord's vengeance. It is the day of Yahweh to his son Yahweh Shai's vengeance. The it says, vengeance of Yahweh to his son Yahweh Shai draweth nigh upon the land of America, Babylon the Great. And the year of the recompenses for the controversy of Zion. Right. And the year Ooh. of the recompenses, the payback <laughs> for the controversy of Zion. That's what it's about. <laughs> well, this is so, what you doing us. How you get the Lord, the Lord to be his people. That's right, bro. That's right. 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 No, no, it's okay, bro. Yeah, yeah. It says, this is back to Jeremiah 25, 33. They should not be lamented. Neither gathered Woo! nor buried, they shall be dung upon the ground. They shall not be lamented, neither gathered nor buried, they shall be dung as dung upon the ground. It tells us this in Isaiah the 34th chapter as well. And also, get me Jeremiah 16 and 4. It's the book of Jeremiah 16 and 4. They shall die grievous deaths. They shall die grievous deaths. In the form of four kinds that the Lord Yahweh, the Son Yahweh Shai, is going to appoint over them during the time of Jacob's trouble. Go ahead. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth. There you go. And they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine, and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven. So guess what? Even the fowls of heaven, they're going to have a great banquet. Set in store for them. Now let's now let's now let's prove that. And for the beast of the earth. Hey, Revelations uh, 20, 21. 21. No, 20, no, uh, no. Revelation 19. 19. 19. Yeah, it's in 19. Then get it. Because it mentions that the cause of the of, of the air, you know, they're gonna be eating, the, you know, the meat and the carcasses and all that. So now let's prove that in the scriptures. Revelation 19, verse. I got it, I got it, I got it. This is, I'm going to start at Revelation 19 to 17. 
And I saw an angel standing. She locked it. And I saw an angel standing in the sun. And he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together upon, unto the supper of the great power, that ye may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and them that sit on them and the flesh of all men, both free, born, small and great. Basically going into the destruction, all right? After the missiles fly down and, and hit America, you know, the fires of the earth, you know, the desert-like creatures is going to come down and feast, you know? Even before that, Salakia. Because it's going to, the scriptures tell you that they're going to be as dumb upon the streets. And all them dead bodies, what you think is going to happen? These birds, these vultures, they're going to be feasting off that. Yeah. Or from captains, kings, you know? 39, 39. Got it. That's right. This is Ezekiel 39 and 17. And thou, son of man, thus saith the Lord power Yahweh, speak unto every feathered fowl and to every beast of the field. Assemble yourselves and come, gather yourselves on every side to my sacrifice. Gather Ooh. yourselves, gather yourselves, O fowls of the heaven, on every side. What? That I do sacrifice for you even a great sacrifice upon the mountains of Israel that ye may eat flesh and drink blood. Ye shall eat the flesh of the mighty and drink the blood of the princes of the earth, of rams, of lambs, and of goats, and bullocks, and all of them, and, and so all of them fatlings of Bashan. So all this is going to happen during the time of Jacob's trouble and also during the time of the third world's woe. Because when our Lord Yahweh Shah returns, all these different all these different armies that are gonna to come together to fight against him, they're all gonna be eviscerated. Yep. But right. you're gonna have those that are slain that are gonna be like, you know, left around over there in that yeah. area yeah. or whatever. Yeah. The fowls, the fowls of the heaven, they're gonna be feasting on their carcasses. Yeah. I got a quick one for you, bro. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, I'll start at 7, 27. It says, For as lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Right. For wheresoever the carcasses is, there will the eagles be gathered together. That's right. That's right. Y'all brothers are saying it, man. That's 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 the destruction that's to come. You know, when you when you see um you watching the National Geographic movies and you see them vultures and eagles and and um hey, cause those are the abominable birds that the Lord says will be um gonna be dwelling here after the destruction. You know, I was watching a video the other day. An eagle was eating another eagle, man. And the eagle was, a e it was eating another eagle alive, man. So those are the dirty and unclean birds, as well as other other creatures that's going to just be infesting Babylon after the destruction. It's going to look like a fucking nightmare over here, man. It's going to look like, des you know, these desert creatures, yeah. abominable creatures. It's going to look like some dark, gloomy shit. Yeah, you know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be feasting on each other. It's just going to be fucked up over here. Vile creatures and vile beasts, man. Eating each other, you know. Komodo dragons, all types of dragons, man. Dragons and, and creatures that the Lord is going to have resurface because, you know, ain't none of these, you know, um, you saw say, you know, creatures are extinct. And, nah, the Most High God reserve all them creatures, man. You know what I'm saying? Dinosaurs and, you know, whatever. But um, let me read that again, brother. It says, for wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Right. So, in those days, literally, the clouds of the heaven, they're going to be eating the carcasses that are going to be left across the mark of Babylon the Great. That great supper that's reserved for them. Okay? Can you read that part again, Baba Bishai? It's like, yeah. Cause that's, that's a heavy scripture. Um, yeah, for whosoever, excuse me, for wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, right. shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. Right, literally, as well as metaphorically, because the sun represents wisdom and the moon represents understanding. All the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these devils, of these witches, warlocks. That's all going to be darkened. And not, that's not going to be able to save them 
Like it says in, in Isaiah, the 47th chapter. Go ahead. Yep. It says, and the stars shall fall from heaven in the right. powers. Yep. The ICBM nuclear missiles, that's, that's those stars. That's going to fall from heaven, from the atmosphere. That's going to come down over here into America, Babylon the Great, and destroy her with fire. Yeah. And them, um, and them, cha them chariots and the missiles also going to, on the, on the second half, second fold, darken the, the, you know, not give light. It's going to be dark, man. Like the scripture said, the day, of the, do the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. You know, gloominess, because it says after the tribulation of those, days, of those days, because what's the tribulation? Jacob's trouble. Now after Jacob's trouble, you know what I'm saying? Jacob's trouble when um, um, all hell break loose, Esau move in, start tripping people. That's when the Lord Yahweh Shah is going to speed things up. And that's when he gonna that's when he's gonna make his appearance as well as as well with the missiles, man. You know, and at that time, like you said, through the spirit, you know, that's when people ain't gonna have that knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Everything is gonna be dark and people are gonna be clueless. You know what I'm saying? As well, you know, physically speaking, it's gonna get dark out here, man. The missiles, the chariots, it's gonna be real dark, man. And because remember the scriptures say um it talks a lot about the missiles wasting at noonday. So it's gonna be it's going to be like, it's going to be noonday, but these things are going to be darkened, man. The sky is going to be darkened. It's going to look like it's night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like the, like the, the it black out the sun, you know what I'm saying? You know? Like the brother said, nuclear winter away where things are just dark. You know what I'm saying? Yep, so it says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. All right, and that's the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Christ. Okay? When our Lord Yahweh Shai returns, all the tribes, meaning all the nations, all 18 nations on the earth are going to mourn. Why? Because our Lord Yahweh Shai is going to return with a sword. And also, not only just any sword, but you know, with the sword that's going to be, you know, you know, the laser beams are going to be shot from the chariots, as well as nuclear missiles. The scripture says in Isaiah 66, verse 15, that the Lord is going to return to run this anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Okay? For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai shall be many. This is Ezekiel 39 and 19. Yep. And ye shall eat fat till ye be full, yep. and drink blood till ye be drunken of my sacrifice, which I have sacrificed for you. So in other words, there's going to be so much so much dead bodies that the birds are going to have their hearts desires. They're going to have their hearts desires fulfilled. They're going to be satisfied, man. Okay. Good. How was it? I got Isaiah 66 and verse 15. Yep. It says... For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. And that's why the, 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 the tribes of the earth are going to mourn. That's why two thirds of the nation of Israel are going to mourn because our Lord is, is returning with a sword. It says to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Go ahead. It says, For by fire and by his sword. Will the Lord plead with all flesh? Right. So, for by fire and by his sword, the ICBM nuclear missiles, shall the Lord Yahweh, through his son Yahweh Shai, plead with all flesh. Go ahead. It says, and the slain of the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be many. Right. And the slain of the Lord is, is going to be many. So much so that all the blood, the blood of the grapes is, is going to be coming all the way up to the horse's bridle, man. In other words, there's gonna be a lot of slain, man. A lot of dead. You know? A lot of dead white loads. Okay. Okay. This is Psalms 91 and 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 I'm stuck with four. He yeah. shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall that trust. Right, so the feathers are a metaphor for the chariots. So the Lord is, is gonna cover the elect of the nation of Israel with his feathers, with the chariots. Go ahead. That says, and on his wings shalt thou trust. Right. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Right. So, this, so this truth is our shield to defend against unrighteousness and our buckler, you know, to, to keep us, you know, steady, steadfast, standing firm. 
Go ahead. It says, But thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. Right, which is referring to the ice beam and nuclear missiles. There it is again, there's the arrow. You're not going to be afraid of the arrows. Why? Because at that time, we're going to be in the chariots. Or one of the other elect. And we're going to be looking down at those arrows being pelted, being rained upon the landmass of the mercy of Babylon the Great. It says, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. And that's day. those ICBM nuclear missiles. That's the pestilence that walketh in darkness. You know, like when you look at Hiroshima and Nagasaki, once that plane flew over uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, it came out of nowhere. That bomb was just dropped there. You see, like a little bomb just dropped in the sky and boom, it got like, yeah. One big flash light, boom, everybody got a death. Right. It says, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. So we're going to see all of these things occurring during the time of Jacob's trouble. We're going to be seeing the slain of the thirst of the nation of Israel, the love of many who actually pull one against another. And because of that, again, people are going to be killing each other. People raping you know, each right. other's wives and daughters and whatnot, Yo, killing the husbands and the sons, ravishing them. All these things are going to happen, but it's not going to trouble us. Why is that? Because we're going to have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, which is going to keep us stable in the times to come. Because this is in Isaiah 34, what? 33 and 6. Go ahead. It says, Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Right. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward. Destruction. Okay? Destruction of the kingdom of the wicked. That's it? This is Isaiah 26 and 20. Come, my people, exit thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Right, so the elect are going to hear a voice. Come hither. Come, my people, enter thou into the what? Enter thy chambers. Into thy chambers. Into the chambers of the chariots, so called your foes. And shut thy doors about thee, hide thyself as it were for a little moment. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment. Until the indignation be overpassed. The indignation is the destruction of the heart of Babylon the Great. Because the scripture says that the righteous shall scarcely be saved. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment. Verse 21. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth yes, for their iniquity. Right. The Lord is going to come, come out of this place. Where, where is the Lord right now? Sitting on the right hand side of the corner. Yep, the in the heavens. In the spiritual realm. And very soon the, the Father is going to send our Lord Yahweh Shai back to the earth to deliver the elect and to destroy the kingdom of the wicked. It says a little more. It says the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Right. Because at, at that time the slain of the Lord is going to be many. As we had read earlier in Isaiah, this is six chapter, the fifteen verse on down. This is Jeremiah fifty one, and I'm gonna start with oh, I'm gonna start with one. Right. Thus said the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shad, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind. Yep, and that's talking about what the ICBM nuclear missiles, man. The intercontinental ballistic missiles. That's another word that blow with you. Wind, man. All right? A destroying wind. What's that destroying wind? The missiles. Look what it says. It says, And will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her. Those fanners are talking about the intercontinental ballistic missiles. That's going to be shot, man. Okay? There's going to be 200,000, thousand. That's the fans. That's going to fan. Well, the fanners, they make the fire, fire greater. Greater. Fanners make the fire greater. They add more oxygen to the fire, thus spreading the fire. All right, making it more more destructive. Right? All right. Well, that's going to be more isolated. It's on yeah. top of it. Yeah. And as you said it, you know, through the spirit that you know, right, right, right. It's like like um like uh like a fire. What does it need to grow? You no, oxygen. 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 Right. Like uh. The, 
the defenders are. Right? Those fanners that or those missiles that are gonna be shot from other nations, all other nations, they're gonna allow that, that fire of America to, to grow and get bigger and bigger. Yeah, because yeah, 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 where are the 200,000 missiles coming from? Or warheads coming from? They're coming from other nations. Nations might shoot theirs 10 minutes after or before, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Britain shot theirs, or Germany shot theirs before France, and France shot theirs before Australia, the water. You know? Those, those, that's the fantasy. There's more missiles being added in the bunch, man. Fulfilling that number in Revelation. 200,000,000, man, fanners. Okay. It says, and uh, it, uh, this is Jeremiah 51, 2, and, and will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. Ooh. See? See, the, the missiles, man. All right, that's going to be coming from France. It's going to be coming from the Allies, or so-called Allies. It's going to be coming from the rest of NATO, okay? We'll pull it, put it all in one, 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 one uh, category, all right? It includes all of the major continents that the so-called white man rules. Russia being a main A lot of the missiles, according to the prophecy, is going to come from Russia themselves. That's Gog and Magog, according to the prophecy. The land of Russia. It says, for in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round the power. Against him that bendeth, that bendeth, that This is Jeremiah 2.3. Against him that bendeth. Bend his bow, and against him that lifted himself up in his brigandine. And guess what? You know the bow upon the prophecy. A bow upon the prophecy is a silo. So when he, whoever wields the ability to shoot missiles, yep. all right, that's what he's talking about. These countries that we just named, all right, America being the whore that sit upon the beast, but the rest of the seven heads, all right, we're dealing with, all right, which is other establishments or uh, authorities of Esau, okay? And spare ye not her young men, even other nations, like, you know, you mentioned North Korea and South Korea, okay? Destroy ye utterly all her hosts. Yeah, uh, India, they've been in the boat. India? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thus said, thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, O Chaldeans, and they that are thrust through in her streets. For Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power, of the Lord of armies, though their land was filled with sin against the Holy of Israel. Flee out of the midst of Babylon, and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of Yahweh's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. So be not cut off with the iniquity, with the sin upon sin of America, Babylon the Great, while we have thermal nuclear fire. Be not cut off with the iniquity of America, Babylon the Great, by spiritually arising and depart. But this is not your rest. For here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Okay? Because America, Babylon the Great, this, this ain't it, man. This is hell, man. This place needs to be destroyed, and it will be destroyed, man. So you niggas out here that call this place your home and oh this is where we're gonna build up and you know live old and die and all this shit. Man, you niggas out of your mind, man. These devils have shown us decade after decade, century after century, century, century after century, how much they hate us, man. Yet you niggas wanna show them love. Oh, that's love. That's so cool. Like, yeah. Oh, let's all get together, everybody. Let's all be friends. But here it is, this nigga is fucking shooting you down in the streets, ripping your wives and your, your daughters, killing your son, murdering your sons. 
poisoning you know, your water. Poisoning your, your food, water. Your food, the minds of your children. Michigan. Remember Michigan? Yeah. 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 Like that fucking devil. It was his day. That shit. That yeah. Michigan thing. still messed up, man. They ain't fixed that. They ain't fixed that. Alright, it caused it. Right? I got something. This is Jeremiah 8. I mean, I said that. Job 18. And I'm going to start with. with Ten. The snare is laid for him in the ground, and the trap for him in the way. Terror shall make him afraid on every side, and shall drive him to his feet. And what's that snare? What's that snare that's laid for these devils? The ice of the, the, the missiles. Because it says in Job the 20th chapter, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he's yeah. going to be in straits. Why are they going to be in, in, a, in a position of difficulty? Because right when they're about to fill their belly, right, right when they're about to accomplish their new world order agenda, that snare is gonna catch them. They're gonna fall right into that hole of destruction. That hole of perdition. By way of what? Thermal nuclear fire. So read that again. Yep. Yep. This is Job 18 and 10. The snare is laid for him in the ground and the trap for him in the way. Terror shall make him afraid on right, every side. Right, in the side. way. Now notice that it says in the way. Now, when a man was on the road, for example, he's walking going about his business in the ancient world, that is, and the snare is laid, laid there, he's not going to suggest there, especially if it's like, covered up. He's going there, he's going to buy his business, and then so, so he falls right, in, right inside of the trap, yeah. now at a booby trap, a booby trap, right? Yeah. Now, guess what? Some snares may have, you know, like those um, those long sticks. I knew you. I'll be like at the, the bottom of the hole. That's, you know, like in the movies, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they fall in the hole, and they die. Yeah. That's what they're going to have to eat His kingdom is going to be destroyed right along one of those high speed nuclear missiles that And then after that, he's going to go into slavery. Yeah. That's that snare, that's that trap, and that, that trap in the way. Because his inward thought is what? That his house shall continue forever. forever. So that's that snare in his thought, man. They name the name. Right. 12. It says, His strength shall be hunger bitten, right. and destruction shall be ready at his side. Woo. His strength shall be hunger bitten. What is the strength of these devils, man? They're blessed. They're blessed. They're blessed. Sword. 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 How is there going to be hunger bitten? Because our Lord, when he returns, he's going to take that blessing away. And they're going to be put in chains to slavery, man. Their kingdom is going to be destroyed by the same sword, the same blessing that was given unto them. And then after that, they're going to go into slavery. That's yeah. why their strength is going to be hunger bit. As a matter of fact, let's look up that word hunger bit. We got something real fast for you, bro. Yeah. Psalms 10 and 2. The wicked in his pride do persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. Wow. So the wicked in his pride do persecute the poor. Now, who's the poor? The nation of Israel. So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, specifically the elect of the nation of Israel. Because we are the ones that are crying out, Lord, when we are elect. We are the ones that are crying out in this captivity, in this society that's dark, that's corrupted. And that's the king, very, very quickly. And the Lord is hearing the voices, the cry of his elect. So the wicked in his pride will persecute the poor. Yep. What? Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. Let them be taken in the devices, in the snares, in the same thing that they did that they did unto us. Let it be, let it happen unto them, but double. Let, let them be taken in the same thing that they had take, overtook in us back in, you know, decades ago. Yeah. Let it happen unto them, but double. Hey, also, also them missiles too. Yeah. Esau, Esau, Esau is one of the first ones to have. Esau is the first one to have a missile. He devised that he devised that um thing to have dominion over over the whole earth, you know, to flex his power. That's why he dropped them bombs on Japan. You know what I'm saying? So let them be taken into the devices that they have imagined. Going back to what you're talking about about being um caught up in them snares, not being able to fulfill that new world order. That's because the missiles is that is that snare. Ultimately, that missile is that snare. That's what the Lord is going to use. To have them, them, um, them other nations destroy this fucking place, man. That's right. That's so right. yeah, Esau gonna get a little. He gonna see a little bit of his new world order, but then the Most High is gonna have it where missiles gonna get shot over here at the so-called, you know, white man in his domain. All right. Yeah, absolutely, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me say this too, man. 
thing. You saw them match of many different devices against us. One thing is the whole drug, the, that whole drug thing, man. Don't you know in in uh, I in uh, not Iowa in Ohio there's an opioid pandemic, man. Wow. And who is uh, it affecting, man? It's sure affecting them damn devils, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you done yeah. dealt with Jake harshly during the time of the '80s, you know, up there in Harlem and different places. It was it was a heavy. They make movies about it. You know what I'm saying? It, it was a heavy uh, strain of drugs, man, during the 80s and whatnot, which we, we well know that, that the elites, the Clintons and Bushes and all that, they were bringing in all kind of drugs. And it got exposed not too long ago that J.P. Morgan had a whole uh, uh, a, whole, a whole shipment, what you call those? Those are, uh, they, they come into the docks. Yeah, the containers full of drugs, man. A, with a street price of over a billion dollars. And they, they was imagining to, to, to put that upon Jake, man. That's how they make a lot of their profits off of drugs, man. You see what I'm saying? Now it's falling back upon them. Don't you know a lot of these different diseases have patents on it? You know when a disease got patent, when it has a, something got a patent on it, is when it's man-made. Like AIDS is, has a patent on it. Uh, 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 Ebola, COVID-19, coronavirus, that got a patent on it. Okay? So why does they have a patent on it? Because it's man-made. These devils didn't expect for other devils to get AIDS. You got more devils with AIDS than Negroes, man. Okay? You see what I'm saying, man? That's the Heavenly Father making all your devices fall upon you because you fall into that same trap because you're the wicked, man. Right. All right? These devils are the wicked, bro. You know? Now you got devils falling into financial, financial, uh, uh, you know, woes and whatnot, man. Why is that? Because what you devise for us is falling upon your asses, man. All right? That's your how about Shinyawa Shah taking away your power. More and more, these devils' power is getting snatched away from them every day. And it's the Lord doing it, man. The Lord said he's going he gonna to take you from off of that, that, that throne, man. There is no throne. Sit on the ground. There is no throne. What's that, Isaiah 47? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's beautiful, man. It's fucking day, man. Pardon me, man, but it, it, it's beautiful, man. I got some. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 27, verse 29. It says, They that rejoice at the fall of the righteous shall be taken in the snare. Mm. But wait a minute. Don't it say they, they clapped their hands when we fell? Yeah. They said, Aha, these Aha. two nations shall be ours. Who are them two nations? It's talking about the split between the kingdom of Judah and the kingdom of Israel. That's what it means, man. Right. Hey, hey uh, uh, Judah and Israel have gone into captivity together, man. Because why? Because the Most High allowed it, man. You rejoiced at that. Your insurance companies, they got their startup insuring so-called Negroes, slaves, man. Native American slaves going over to Europe when you came over here and called me, man. All right? Lloyds of London, Aetna, okay? And other different insurance companies, that's how they got their startup, man. That's how they became rich. The banks, they financed it. The banks, they financed it, man, okay? J.P. Morgan, hey man, these, these, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, and these different, the, the DuPont family, the Oppenheimers, these different banking families, they got together and they financed slavery, okay? You see what I'm saying? That's that old money. That's, that's how you call it, old money. Yeah. If you know anything about old money, old money in, 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 in this age is worth a whole lot more. Yeah. A million dollars back then is worth about a hundred and a hundred and uh, uh, one one point eight million, one point five million. Okay, you see what I'm saying? It's like something you put in the bank and you keep getting interest on the shit. Okay, you keep getting interest on it. So when you when you look at it the next time, you're like, oh shit, what the hell? It grows exponentially. And exactly, it grows over time. You see what I'm saying, man? Yeah, my brother. Yeah, let me let me read up some. Got some meat up here too. It says, Ecclesiastes chapter 27, verse 26. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein. <laughs> and who, who's digging the pit, man? You who is the pit being dug for, first of all? Us. All right? The pit is being dug for us. Okay? Jake is falling into that pit. I was watching something earlier this morning about Red Fox, man. How he died broke, yeah. things like that. You know what I'm saying? That pit is being dug for us. You had another Jake that filed a lawsuit on a bank 
And he was saying they give higher interest loans on they give higher interest rates on loans to Jake than Esau. Yes, Redline. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Redline. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, on nigga scalping. All right. Wow. wow. See what I'm saying? Oh, that's a nigga. So we gonna charge him more. Yeah, yeah. Cause it's proven that Jake can't pay their bills and this, that, and the other. That ain't fair. Yeah, that's that constitutional shit. Two fifths of a man, three fifths of a man. So, so where's the whole? Where's the whole? Uh, uh, that all men are created equal. First of all, we never, we never consented to that. If that's the case, you devil should be getting a higher interest rate than me, cause you and you and I, we are not, we are not uh, uh, alike, man. We're not equal, man. Right. The Lord said that we're gonna be greater than you. Yeah. One people shall be stronger than the other. Yeah, isn't he the lender? But a borrower, how the hell are we paying more? And you, and you, you the damn lender. You got, you got, you know. Because he's the devil. That's right. Because he's the <laughs> devil. I'm gonna give you the an answer right now, which you already know. You know, because I know you know the answer. But you know, for you brothers out there that don't know, because he's the damn devil, man. The borrower is subject unto the lender. You know. But the rich keep getting rich, and the poor keep getting poor. We keep getting taxed more, and they get taxed less. What's up with that? You know what I'm saying? You got some more, brother? Yeah. It says, yeah, let me read again. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that setteth the trap shall be taken therein. He that worketh mischief, it shall fall upon him. It shall fall upon him. That's Esau, man. And all you've been doing is working mischief. The scriptures say you can't go asleep on your bed until you've done some wicked act, man. You can't sleep, man, until you've done some wickedness, man. You get off on doing wicked shit. Okay? Yeah. He's you got a lot of women that are, you know what I'm saying, they, they, they might see a Jake trying to, like, white women and shit, whatever kind of woman, a Jake would approach me, they want to talk to him or something, man, they get all, oh, this is a black guy, you know what I'm saying, but you got Jeffrey Epstein, what he was doing, he was taking, he was doing, using magnifying glasses and burning, and burning women, man, all right, he was using a magnifying glass and burning them up, don't you know, the majority of serial killers, they are in their 30s and they are white males, man. You see what I'm saying, man? Well, they put a stigma on Jake. Yeah. You know? Put a stigma on Jake. And a lot of you niggas deserve it, but for the most part, Jake ain't even built like that, man. You know? You devils are. That's your whole genetic makeup, man. Yeah, yeah. Pure devil. Right. It says, and he shall not know whence it cometh. And he shall not know from whence it cometh, man. And so you devil's gonna be looking around real soon. We just had America. We just had America on 20 years ago. We would have, and then all of a sudden, you're gonna be down in that pit. <laughs> you have a Jake <laughs> looking in on your ass, man. The devil's gonna start trembling, man. You know? And you're gonna have to get up before the fucking sunrise, man. Start can't see working. In the morning, can't see at night. Devil. Yeah, that's right, man. Double. All right? Your work day starts at 3 in the morning. All right, 3 a.m. Which we gonna view? We gonna view the, the days right righteously right, in the yeah. kingdom of heaven, though. It's really the day start when the sun go down. Yeah, right. You know? Right. Hell, his work day gonna start when the Sabbath ends. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Shit. Yeah. You gonna work? You gonna work, devil? You gonna? You might. We may. We may just have you working for the whole. The whole. The whole three thousand years. Oh, hell yeah. Every day, of course. Every day oh, except the yeah. Sabbath, man. Oh. All right. See these That's brothers, what I was doing. Hey, brother. I got. I got. I got to pray to the Lord for more hatred, man. That's what I was doing. I pray to the Lord. Hey, bro. I'm you know what you gotta do. Hey, y'all brothers, gotta pray for me, brother. You know what I'm saying? Get some more hatred for these devils, man. You know what I'm saying, man? Hey, cause that's what's gonna happen, man. All right. The scripture says you should be continual work, brother, in the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Continual work, man. Yeah, let me read this. Let me read this for you, bro. It says, verse 28. Mockery and reproach are from the proud. Mockery and reproach. They make the minstrel shows with the watermelon lips and all that, man. Now you crackers, you you finding yourselves infertile. Oh my God! There's citrulline and watermelon uh, uh, yeah. frying, and we need that. That, that that's natural. Nature's Viagra. Now all of a sudden, oh, the niggas had it right all the time, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. So now you're not making menstrual shows no more? You see how these devils are, man? <laughs> you see how they are, man? A bunch of devils, you. That's right. It says, but vengeance as a lion shall lie in wait for them. That's, that's what's coming, man. 
Hey, because Yahweh Shai is coming. And when Yahweh Shai come, first of all, Yahweh Shai said, if this was my kingdom, that was my servants fight. We all going to become like lions on your asses, man. Huh? And don't try to play all humble, Esau. Yeah, exactly. You know? Because yep. the Heavenly Father got all the footage, like I said last week, all the footage on your ass, man. There ain't nothing you done that you can say you didn't do. Because the angel's been recording everything. All right? Not with no camera phone, okay? The footage they got is greater than 4K, okay? Yeah. We can jump right back in there and watch you committing that. Oh, see that? See that? What that devil's doing there? He's raping that little boy. All right? Start whooping your ass, man. Put you to death, man. For the crimes you done committed, man. Oh, look at the, you see they're worshiping Satan. Look at them, the Clinton, look at the Clintons, man. They're pedophiles, look at them, they, they're pedophiles. Okay? That whole thing with WikiLeaks, and how that came out with Snowden and all that. Guess what? You had a guy by the name of Seth Rich, okay? And he brought all that stuff out on the Clintons, man. Mysteriously, he got two bullets in the back. Right, oh, yeah. right. Mysteriously. Right. The guy, the guy that uh, uh, brought out Eyes Wide Shut, he brought that out. They whacked him because he, he exposed too much. And they took out like 24 minutes of footage that was so vulgar. Yeah. They, to, they took it out. I didn't even know about that. Yeah, they took out like 24 oh, minutes. They they probably got, he probably got real in depth with it. You know I mean? I ain't, I, hey, man, because you know they be yeah, doing all kind of like, missing, yeah. you know, yeah. all, all, uh, I mean, they showed some kind of orgies and shit, but that shit was mild compared to the stuff yeah, you had yeah, in it, yeah, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? All right? Because when you watch stuff like Salo, 120 Days of Sodom, oh, or, or Caligula, stuff like that, that stuff that, that hey, in the end of the Salo, they was torturing them kids, man. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, the same yeah. thing Jeffrey Epstein was doing, man. Yo, these devils are sick, man. Real, Mel man. Gibson brought it out on their asses, man. They blackballed them from Hollywood. Penelope Cruz, she made a so-called anti-Semitic statement. They blackballed her from Hollywood. Now you only gonna see her on Netflix and shit. Okay? You see what I'm saying, man? They got a lot of things to hide. Right before Hillary Clinton was supposed to get um investigated, all of a sudden, the office in her mansion uh, uh, mysteriously got caught on fire. <laughs> she took a hammer to a smartphone, destroyed it, destroyed the evidence, man. Come on, man. But the thing is, you ain't guilty, though. The thing, hey, brother, the thing brother's is, holding the scriptures, these right? Are the people, yeah. These are the people that run the society. So we can't really do nothing. They, they run the society, bro. These are our higher ups, man. Why you think the, the law people are so vile, man? These people are vile. These women are a bunch of fucking sluts and whores. These young men are a bunch of faggots and homosexuals, man. You see what I'm saying, man? It's all madness going on here. But the, the Lord, you how about she got shot? Got something for your ass, man. Whoever got a precept, man. Uh, uh, good boy, you finished? Yeah, that was the point on that. I got something real quick. You said um, the high ups and the people is. Beautiful. It says, no, this is a rock, 10 verse 2. Yep. As the judge of the people is himself. So are his officers, and what manner of men the rule of the city is, such are all they that dwell there. Right, so you know they're not righteous, man. When's the last time you seen Leviticus 20 and 13, uh, uh, how you call it, um, enforced on this society, man? Never. You better believe when David and Solomon was up there ruling, it was enforced. Yeah, found out niggas was a faggot. Up, oh, David found out. We got two or three witnesses, too. You know what I'm saying? Because back, back then, the one witness wasn't good enough. According to the law, you need two or three witnesses, man. All right? So a person might have seen you, or they'll keep quiet about it. They'll bring somebody else in to catch you while you're slipping, man. Up, oh, there he goes. Now we're going to bring him to the council. He's done. He's gone. It could be your son, your nephew, all right? Your aunt, whatever. You feel me? Think what the scriptures are saying? You think you dig? Do you, you dig that, man? Yeah, brother. Verse three: An unwise king destroyed his people. An unwise king destroyed his people, man. All right. Esau, Monsanto's, and Bear, they came together. Wow. All right. Don't you know Monsanto's was a top producer of Agent Orange during the Vietnamese War? All right. Look at them Vietnamese today. They still getting two heads. All right? 
15 toes. All right? You got a little girl got a head, a, a leg, a, a, a foot growing out of her head, man. All right? And she can wiggle the toes. You feel me? <laughs> what type of shit is that, man? Fucked up. You feel me? That's Esau's work. That's Esau, man. But well, this is a righteous society. All the food you eat is genetically modified. Now they're saying uh, uh, KFC is supposed to be making oh. some some chicken nuggets that's supposed to be cold or something like that. What? Yeah. I don't eat, I don't eat KFC any damn way, man. But I'm saying that that's what they're supposed to be making now. These people are these people are vile. They got they got facial cream that they make from the foreskins of circumcised baby boys, bro. Yeah. No bullshit, bro. This stuff is this, this this society is sick, bro. You think you're using some 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 pure shit, and it's some it's some foul foul shit you're using, man. That adrenochrome that they want to drink babies' blood and shit like that to keep that 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 youthful spirit and all that, man. You know that? Hey, man. I'm telling you, brother, these people are sick, bro. They are sick. They are sick to the core. And these Edomites are the worst. They're sick to the core. You know? It says, An unwise king destroyed his people, but through the prudence of them which are in the authority of the city, shall it be inhabited. Shall it be inhabited, man. That's why I say when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked bear a fool, the people mourn. That's right. Ain't nobody out here rejoicing no more, man. Unless you're just a fucking simpleton with no brain. There's nothing to rejoice about, man. All right? That's right. You see what I'm saying, bro? There's nothing to rejoice about. And real soon, you can't rejoice about that little 600 bucks that, you, that was given out. Okay? Whoa. They, 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 they cutting off the bread and the circus, man. That's right. You see what I'm saying, man? Damn. They, they got rumors going around about the fourth, uh, uh, the, the fourth um, what do you call it? The fourth phase. And they saying that, oh, things are supposed to open back up. Okay, pre-invention things open back up. They already predicted a second wave. Exactly. All right? Yep. You had Bill and Marlon Gates up there snickering about it, man. Yeah, wait for the next one. Yeah, wait for the next one. <laughs> they're going to keep this one. Yeah. yeah. Sodomites. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying, man? Weirdos. Rothschilds. <laughs> Pedos, pedophiles. You saw, you saw okay. it done, boy. That's what they are, bro. That's right. You know? <laughs> and you got Mariana Abramovic, who is a a, 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 a witch. And she, mm. she talk about, uh, oh, we're, we're, uh, what I do is performance arts. Isn't it yeah. a performance yeah. arts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sacrifice or yeah. occultism. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, that's fucking bullshit, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, you know what? Yeah, spirit cooking herself. Yeah, spirit cooking with, 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 with semen, semen, semen and, uh, blood, breast milk. and breast milk. What type of shit? What type of shit is that, bro? Hey, can I bring this for you real yeah, quick, yeah, brother? brother? Real quick, Isaiah 47, and 1 to 3. It says, come down and sit in the dust. Oh, you brought it out? Okay. Okay, yep. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Yeah, that represent confusion, a state of confusion. You're going to be in a state of confusion when the Lord start bringing his judgment down upon you harshly, man. The virgin daughter of Babylon is talking about America. Right now, America is in a state of confusion, man. And it's only going to get more confused. Continue. It says, sit on the ground. Sit on the ground. Sit on the goddamn ground, man. Right. Yeah. There is no throne. So that means Esau is going to get knocked off his throne. Yep. You so-called white people, you've been ruling for all these years, centuries, hundreds of years, right? Now it's time for you to get off, up, get the hell up off the throne, man, because the Lord is coming. Okay? It says, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. America is the daughter of the Chaldeans. Everything they see from history, ancient history, they embrace it, man. All right? Whether it's Babylonian money magic, worshiping the deities of ancient Babylon, Molech and all that, man. Oh, uh, we're going to offer up a chicken. You know what a chicken is? A chicken is a child. All right? A chicken is a little child. What happened to Isaac Cap? Cap, huh? 
They whacked him. Why they whacked him? Because he was exposing too much, man. That's how they keep their power. With Satan, they have to do these homosexual, weird, bugged out, you know, uh, inordinate, affectionate sexual acts and, and, and vile acts and vile acts, man. That's what they do. Yeah. Behind the scenes. If you expose them, they'll kill you. Yeah. It says, take millstone and grind meal. Uh -huh. Uncover thy locks. Uncover the locks. Yeah. Make bare the leg. To expose this whore. America on the whole is a whore. All right? It's a filthy ass whore. A filthy, bloody whore. All right? That's America on the whole. Like the scriptures say. She's the whore, the scarlet cover, the, the, the whore arrayed in that purple and scarlet on that beast, man. That's America. If you didn't know that, now you should know. Yeah, brother. Uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Uncover the thigh and pass over the rivers. The rivers are talking about the other nations, man. And America's being exposed to the other nations, man. Right. You know? Totally. You know? Without remedy, it's exposed. Okay? Right. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered because for a time, their strength was in their secrecy, man. That for a time it was. Yeah. I mean, you mean, you mean, from the day we were before we were born, these devils have been drinking child, children's blood and, and, and eating children and, and doing all kind of homosexual and having orgies and shit like that to appease Satan so they can stay in power. What in the hell is what type of world are we living in? And these are our higher ups, man. Right. This is foul, man. And we ain't afraid of you because you how about Shimel Shah's with us, man? Right, right. All right. You know, you know they want to destroy us for bringing stuff out. You know? Hey, even if you do kill us, man, the Lord will raise some men back up right in our state. It don't matter, man. I go, we, we go sit with the Father until your, your, your destruction comes. Then we come right back down on earth and put you in a slavery, man. Put you in chains, man. Yeah, we Because that's where y'all going. All of you, all, all of you, all of you devils are going into slavery, man. Every last one of you. Yeah, brother. Right, it says... Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. That's right. Your shame is going to be seen, man. And like I keep stating, man. Listen, man. You did not invent the camera. Okay? You did not invent uh, uh, having footage. The Lord been doing that. The Lord, the, 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 the Lord been doing that. So you mean to tell me, oh, we got the footage on this, this, that, and the other. The Lord been had footage. You trying to lie? We bring the footage right up. All we gotta do, fuck, we get the chariot, okay? What chariot it was that was there, okay? We get the we get the recording. We play that shit. No remote needed, man. We just pop that shit up, boom. Play the footage. That's not you doing that, huh? Uh, maybe it looks like me a little bit. That Photoshop. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Ain't no Photoshop. Ain't no Photoshop, devil. That's you. Nah, hey, it looks like me, but it's not me. Nah, it's you. It's you, devil. Oh, the hands. Stomping them out, you know? Let all Israel get a piece of them. Smacking them, snuffing them. Stomping on his ass, man. You know? So it's definitely going to happen to y'all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Hey, Jeremiah. That was no pain. That's right. This is according to the scriptures. Jeremiah 49, mm. verse. I'll start at 10 because it gets real, real detailed going, sure. going into what you're going through. Okay. But I have made Esau bear. What does it mean to make a person bear? To expose him. Mm. Boom. All right? Who yeah. said that? The Most High said, I have made Esau wow. fair. That's how the Lord done it, man. That's why everything is coming out. The whole WikiLeaks thing. The thing about Jeffrey Epstein. That's right, bro. Nambula. The, Nambula, the whole. Yeah. Nambula, uh, Peter Pizza Gates. Gates. Pizza Pizza Gates. Pizza, I'm sorry, Pizza Gates. Pizza the whole thing with, uh, um, yeah, I knew a chick named Peter Gates back in school. That kind of kind of triggered something in my mind. Hey, hey, uh, uh, the whole thing with, uh, um, what's that, what's that site? What's that, what the whole thing with Wayfair, that site? Wayfair, Wayfair. Wayfair, the whole Wayfair, Wayfair, Wayfair thing. Yeah. All right, yeah. J.P. Morgan, Chase. All right. Yeah. This is stuff, this is stuff that. No, 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 you got that. You're right, you're not. This is thing, this, these are things that they don't bring out in the media, man. 
Because why? Because the media is controlled by the Rothschilds. What? The IMF is controlled by them, man. Who? The uh, World Health Organization is controlled by them, man. Okay? That's why this stuff never comes out. All the dirt on them, people will know it. Okay? Regular people will know it, but who's going to listen to a poor man? Yeah, Tell us they have the scriptures, man. Exactly. Like, oh, to a poor man. Hey, to our brother, we've been, we been saying that, bro. Yeah. Starting with the apostles on down, been saying everything that's coming out right now, bro. Now everybody is all is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Now you want to be all is. See, we've been, we've, been, we've been speaking, we've been working, we've been grinding, right. doing this work. Man, we can't even... Personally, I can't put a number on how many videos I done did. Neither can you. Neither can you. I'm sure you brothers can't do the same, man. We've been doing this thing for so long. It's been channels taken down, channels with over 300, 500 videos on yep. it taken down. What do you want? You're on your fourth channel. You know what I'm saying? All kind of subscribers, videos taken down. You see what I'm saying, bro? Hey, but hey, before you brothers came in, it was like, at one point, man, they was just taking down all our videos, all our channels, man. At one point, around in the, in the, in the, in the late 2000s, man, it was just taking down all our channels, man. I make a new channel, I got three videos up there, they take it down, you know? This is when this thing was growing, Jake was waking up. Oh yeah, they still got thousands. You know? What's that? Oh man, forget about it. That was our main site for a while. That's wow. the, um, that's the uh, Delancey days. Yeah, it wasn't even uploading on YouTube. That's them Delancey days, man. You said like, screw YouTube. Yeah, we said fuck YouTube. Yeah. That's when they were taking our own channel. We made GMS too. That's how bad it got. Yeah, GMS too, we still got, we got a whole, a whole site. You know? You see what I'm saying, bro? We got all kind of videos. You see them. You can see brothers. Brothers look mad. Young brothers still in their teens. Hey, me and this brother, we just, hey, we pretty much like the same age. Okay? We was in our teens. This brother was, one time he was the youngest brother in the camp. All right? You know what I'm saying, bro? Straight up. So we've been doing this thing. Okay? Hey, yo, man, you got guys that, 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 that just just popping up out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? We've been, we've been, we've been, hey, man, through the spread of how about you now, Sean? We've been doing this thing, brother. Yeah. Real quick, this is Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 46. It says, it is good that a man should vote, hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord Yahweh. This is Lamentations chapter 3, verse 26 and 27. Verse 26. It is good that a man should both hope and partly wait for the salvation of the Lord Yahweh. Yeah, that's that's what we're doing, man. We're waiting for the Lord to come, man, to give us our salvation, man. That's what we desire more than anything, man. More than anything I desire. I don't desire a chick with, with a chick with a fat ass. I don't desire riches. Right. I, I don't desire that, man. Uh, I desire salvation because I know right. with that. First of all, the Lord says he's coming with healing in his wings, man. Right, right. All right? And that in itself, to have a, a a body that is extraterrestrial where I could I could go out of space without an astronaut suit. Don't you know an astronaut suit? 14 layers to make up an astronaut suit, man. 14 wow. layers, bro. That's why it's so expensive, right? 14 layers. All right? You see what I'm saying, bro? You could, that's, yeah. you could Google that shit. 14 layers in an astronaut suit, man. And you mean to tell me when the Lord come, we gonna have we gonna have bodies of gods where we don't first of all we do not sin. We can we can go out of space without an astronaut suit. We can fly, we can manipulate elements, we can we can walk on the air. We can we can go to the, the bottom of the seas, alright? And the and the and the beast and the great beast in the sea are gonna be in our on our command, you know, obeying us, man. You know, and come on, man. All right, you mean to tell us we could run and never and never get tired? You know, teleport, teleport, go into the spiritual world. Yeah, go to different dimensions, go to different planets, and hook them up. You know, have Esau hook, 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 hook it up, man. You know. We ain't gonna deal with you, dumb. You saw the mind, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna happen, yeah, man. Yeah. Clocking in. Cause yeah, you always yeah, hear about, oh, oh, he was, he was a kind yeah. master. Nah. Yeah. nah. <laughs> ain't gonna be no kind Israelite masters in the kingdom, man. 
Jake is going to be terrible to you devils, man. Tyrant. Dreadful. Tyrant, man. You know? We're going to tear y'all up. They say the house of David shall be like the most high. Well, the house of David is talking about the 144,000. We're going to have, Lord willing, I'm kind of getting a little ahead of myself. Lord willing, with the elect, we're going to have greater power than all the Israelites, all other Israelites. All right? The governing body? What? We're going to be able to do stuff other Israelites can't do. That's the hierarchy right there. That's the aristocracy. Which, which we all, all Israelites are going to be aristocrats. We all going to be sons. We all sons of the most high, but it's going to be some that are higher than the other. All right? You got precept? I got something. This is Zechariah 12 and 8. In that day shall Yahweh by Shimei Rishai defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. That time is coming, man. Hey, because hey, a brother told me he had a dream where you had all kind of troops coming in, ru rushing in. And guess what? That's when the Lord is going to stand up for us, man. Hey, all of us ain't, just ain't going to be wiped out, man. This ain't, this ain't back in slavery day when we was just in the goddamn fields, man. The Lord is right around the corner, man. All right? He's coming to stand, man. Okay? You ain't going to be able to ill treat us all the time, man. Okay? Yeah, brother. Um, I had a vision about, um, years ago, about Shema, um, Shemar, Shemar and Judah, and um, he's going to work, and a whole bunch of troops was coming into that house, and all of a sudden, the troops were flying out the walls. That's the vision I had, so. Hey, that's, hey, that's the spiritual power, man. Yeah. Hey, Lord willing. Hey, hey, first of all, hey, we was those mighty men back then, man. Yeah, you man. think David mighty men ain't here now? Uh, here David's mighty men are here, bro. Okay, I'm, hey, hey, who knows? <laughs> who knows, I'm brother? Vision, so. Hey, brother, Lord willing, brother. Oh, hey, the, I'm, all I'm saying we'll is this. We'll the you. mighty men are got? back. Um, the, David, yeah. the house of David. Okay. Yeah. Hey, but even, no, even the scriptures nah, nah, say nah, that the I, feeble, I even the feeble shall be like David in that day, man. And yeah. David was a great mighty man, bro. That's right. You know, David was jumping over walls and all kind of shit. Yeah. Great. All that shit you see on, uh, on, uh, ben, ben um, on, um, uh, how you call it, uh, uh, crouching tiger, hidden dragon. Mm -hmm. David been doing that shit. That sh they, they got that shit from us, man. Yep. All right. Wiping out thousands. Yeah. yeah. And the monks and all that, they, they doing all kind of crazy shit. They, Jake was just doing that stuff without any training. Yep. The Lord just gave it to Jake. Sure, yep. You know, they was beating people's asses with, with, with jaw bones and all kind of shit, man. Yeah. 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 Right, real quick. This is Isaiah 30, verse 20. It says, and, and, the, and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity. What's the bread of adversity? That's what we eating right now. You ever heard the term that you got sometimes you got to eat the shit? Yeah. That's what we doing, man. Still to this day, sometimes you gotta grit your teeth. I mean, I'm not right saying now. everything. I'm not saying everything. You just, you just, you just grit your teeth about and just let people walk all over you for everything. Right. But some things, some things, yeah. you you deal, you deal with. Majority of the time, you deal spiritually until somebody crosses a certain line and when you just lose it, bro. Yeah. Sometimes Jake loses, yeah, sometimes just and that's just the yeah. truth, man. And may the Lord be with you. All right, but hey, brother. I'm not saying for every single thing you're just gonna allow somebody to do something and then just uh man uh, whatever I'm just about it. Yeah, some yeah. things you know, brother. Some things you gotta deal with. You gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. All right. And may the Lord be with you. If you gotta do what you gotta do, that's it, man. That's all I'm gonna say on that, man. It says, and though the Lord give you the bread bread of adversity and the water of affliction. Yeah, being here in captivity, suffering all these injustices. All right. You see what I'm saying? So on and so forth, man. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. So we the teachers, man. We the teachers. And we worldwide. We're dealing with the apostles and elders, man. All right? Because this thing wasn't worldwide going back to one west. No, it was not. Okay? It's like New York. It's like Jerusalem, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know? Because all, all, this, all this came out of New York City. And we've been said, we've been said, when, once things come here to New York City, you truly know it's the end. That's right. Yeah. It says, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. How are you going to see it? You might actually be walking up the street and see it, so you might see us on the internet for the most part. Majority of Jake's came in off the internet. I came in off the internet, brother. Years ago. You know? 
getting cut damn, to the heart. It, it hurt it, brother. I wanted to turn the damn video off. But the spirit had me keep watching. Hey, hey, niggas out there smoking weed, doing all this dick wicked ass niggas. I'm like, damn, uh, you know, getting hurt to the heart. Cut, you know what I'm saying? Right or wrong? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you kept watching through the spirit. And then eventually, in the Lord, I have mercy on you, brother. Yeah, maybe sometimes it got a little too rough. There was cursing brothers out a little too much. You didn't cut it off. But you went back and watched it anyway. Like, hey, 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 well, at one point, the apostles were just straight up cursing Jake out. And if the Lord wanted you, when you watched the video, you'd get your questions answered. And you didn't even have to ask the question to get it answered. Yeah, yeah. Yo, hey, I hey, brother, I remember yeah, it, brother. Yeah. And the Lord, the Bosch, that's how you know the Lord's dealing, brother. Yeah, you know? Before you ask the question, in order to get the answer, boom. You know? Yeah. Heavy, man. You got some more, brother? Yeah, okay, now I was in on that. This is Zechariah 12 and 8. In that day shall Yahweh by Shimei Shai defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Yeah, when the, ships, when the ships come yeah. down, when the chariots come down, okay? And the chariots is going to come down now, all right? And he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David. Exactly. So you got certain brothers that have ailments, ailments to the point where they, you know, they're not, they're not, uh, uh, they're, they're best in the flesh, man. Well, they're, we're weak in the flesh, man. You see what I'm saying? Some things another brother can do, they can't do. But when the Spirit of the Lord take hold of them, it's going to be a whole nother story. All right? It says, And the house of David shall be as God, shall the as, angel shall be as the Most High. Because guess what? Hey, the Lord said that ye are gods, man. And guess what? The elect, the first fruits, we went into it. When you look at that word first fruit up, man, that means one having a higher, higher, um, higher than uh, 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 the other citizens of, of a place, man. Something to that effect, man. All right? It's, it's, in, um, it's in Romans 11 and um, 16, I believe. You can look that or in, in the blue letter. Look that up in the first fruits up in the blue letter. Romans 11 and 16. Yeah, brother. It says, as the angel of the Lord before them. As the angel of the Lord before them, man. And Jacob, our forefather, wrestled an angel. So you know the Lord put the spirit on him. How you gonna wrestle an angel? What in the what in the world? That's you know. Parking. Parking. Got it? Yeah. This is from the um Romans um. It's like what was that again? Eleven and sixteen. Eleven and sixteen, right? Um, Strong's G five three seven. It says a parquet. A parquet. The definition is. To offer firstlings of first fruits, to take away the first fruits of the production of the earth, which was offered to the Most High, mm -hmm. the first portion of the dough from which sacred loaves were to be prepared. Look at that. The first portion, the tenth, the tenth. So the hundred and forty-four is the, really a, like it's, it's like a tenth portion unto yep. the Lord. You know, yeah. which also, which also the other, the other part of the one third uh, in there. Small portion. Very small portion. Yeah. Like the tithes, you know what I'm saying? It's a remnant. Yeah. Of, um, it says, the first portion of dough from which sacred loaves were to be prepared, hence the term of persons consecrated to the Most High for all time. Look at that. The term of persons consecrated to the Most High for what? For the Most High for all time. For all, all time. Times, bro. All time. That means even. Forever. That means even when we was in our past lives, we was always special. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? You was always special. You was always special, bro. You know? In your past life. Because why? Because the Most High always was really dealing with you. Protecting you in certain ways. Dealing with you in certain ways, man. You know? Even when you was in the world. I'm sure every one of us can attest to that. Some, something happened yeah, back when you was in the world. The Lord was always with you. Uh, you know? 100%. I, hey, brother. Yeah, I wouldn't have been there. I wouldn't have been here. Straight up, bro. I'm trying to tell you. It's mad, mad shit, bro. Mad times, man. So many times you can't remember all of them. Yeah. Exactly. Lord, hey, the Lord, man. Definitely all that. Third definition says, persons superior in excellence Ooh. to others of the what? same class. Did you hear that? What's the class? Israel. And person superior to others of the same class. 
So the elect is superior to others of the same other Israelites, man. You know what I'm saying? The first fruits, man. Now read Romans 11. Yeah. I'll read it. 11 to 16. Romans 11 to 16. It says, For if the first fruits be holy, the lump is also holy. If the first fruits be holy, the lump is also holy. Guess what? The, the lump, which they going to come back as kids, man. You know? In the kingdom of heaven. See, the thing about it is when Yahushua came to the Jews, they didn't accept them. All right? Those are the branches, right? Okay? Scripture tell you in Romans 11. And if the if the uh, fall away of the branches be the riches of the world, okay? Because the Jews didn't accept Yahushua when he came. Right. They didn't want to hear it. They was getting a little money from from the from the, oh, from the government. Paid. They was getting paid. And right. they was taking that little money, that paid. money, and you know, doing their thing, man. Getting fly, nading them. They getting fly. Mm -hmm. You know, they purple garments and all that bullshit, man. Okay. And you know, they, they eating good, the best portions of lamb and yep. y'all bumites and shit. You know what I'm saying? They ain't about that, got man. The higher, got the position. Yeah, got yeah. their little position. And when Yahweh Shah came, he was he was doing away with all that. Yep. They didn't want to hear it, man. And they got Judas, that dude, man, they got, hey, well, Judas, hey, well, Judas, man. <laughs> hey, well, Judas, to be honest, man, Judas hated them devils, man. But he Realize. fucked up when he pushed the hand of the most high. Yeah. You know? They say, woe unto you. Yeah, exactly. He's trying to force the course, course of the waters, which you how was shy. He said, look, one, he, he thought he was doing the right thing in his mind, but, it, you know, he was, being, up. he was being a demon. Yeah, yeah he was being he was much, being carnal. Yeah. He was being carnal to something he's supposed to be spiritual to, man. Yeah. You don't push the hand of the Lord. What the hell are you doing, man? He ended up committing suicide behind that. Yep. Yep. He was so fucked up in the spirit. And he we got back up into the heavens, the Lord still cursed his ass up. Yeah. Yeah. Simple minded nigga, I should set your ass back down there, right? And the Lord didn't do that though. You know? But he was he was, you know, he was jacked up, man. He hated them devils, but he forced the hand of the Lord. That's why I say, woe to you have lost patience, man. All right? We're not trying to go and take Esau down. I'm not I'm not going out there with, what's his nigga name? Grand, 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 Master, Grand Master J. All right? Grand Master J. What? So-called Great Grand Master Yeah, Grand Master J. All right? You going out there, you could be a Grand Master chess player, too. Yeah, well. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not going out there raising up uh, uh, guns and shit, marching. All right. That's not what we were made for. All right. The Lord is going to defend us, man. That's how the Lord is going to get His glory. Yeah. And then you got Israelites, right? Um, you know, came, yeah. yeah, with this dude, you know, back in his jam, Master J. God, back to him, whatever. And these these so-called Israelites got the nerve to quote. Romans 13 as as a means to pick up guns and no yeah well yeah well Romans 13 where it says obey the powers you know what I'm saying that be so they saying the law of the land is bear, right to bear arms so by obeying Romans 13 you are obeying the law to the Constitution to bear arms which don't make no fucking sense because that, that, that with that logic all y'all gonna take the chip period. <laughs> With that logic, they all gonna get the chip. Well, hey, hey, the Lord, the Lord say, it tell you right there in the scriptures, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. So what does that mean? What does that even mean? If you picking up a, a AR-15, what does that, what does that scripture mean? If you gonna quote scripture, what does that mean? You feel what I'm saying, bro? Cause you ain't gonna come to me talking about. See, brother, see, we have the cost of nah, nigga. Nah. That's Esau's blessing. We never got a blessing for that, man. That ain't gonna work for us. Exactly. You feel me? And that whole constitution was for Esau. At that time, niggas was what? Three fifths of a man. Slaves. That's true. I, I wasn't for us. Hey, even though even though you could trap these devils up, hey, hey, like if the devil's trying to pull you over. Uh, Certain certain things you can you can say to him that'll make him back off and all that, man. All right, but that's all being subtile, man. You know, you be subtle in, in, in righteousness, man. You feel what I'm saying, bro? But sure. to raise up arms, that's completely off, man. The Lord will step right away from you if you do that, man. 
know what I'm saying? Yep. I'll finish this for you in Romans 6, uh, 11, 16. For if the first fruits be holy, the lump also is holy. Right. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. That's right, man. Which really the first fruits is really talking about the Jews in that particular time, right? In that particular uh, scripture right there. And that, that, that lump talking about the other Israelites, man. You feel what I'm saying? Because Yahweh Shai came to the to the to the to the Jews first, the first fruits, right? All right. Yeah, Judah Benjamin Levi. Judah Benjamin Levi, right? He came to them first. They ain't accepted. He said, I'm gonna go to the other the other Israelites. And you got Jake that said, Where shall he go then? Shall he go to the disperse among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? That's exactly what he started to do, man. Then he set up Peter, he gave him the vision, he set up Paul to go to the Gentiles, man. And eventually all all the other twelve ended up going to the Gentiles throughout the four corners of the earth, man. And you can read about them in certain different texts and all that. It's, 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 it's a lot of history, man. It's, it's deep, man. What is, hey, well, unto the pure, all things are pure, man. One thing we know for certain, the Lord ain't dealing with no guns, man. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. That right there tell you the Lord ain't dealing with guns. All right? You can't take this man down. What type of shit is that? Lord, You're setting these things up for the, for the slaughter. So you got something to say? Now the Lord told Peter to put up that sword. Yeah. They that live by the sword shall die by it. That's right. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 6. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. That's right, brother. You know? You see what I'm saying, bro? You gotta be spiritual, man. I don't know. Bro. Yeah. Hey, brother. Being spiritual is the best way to go, man. You, you, when you're spiritual, you stay out of trouble, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, brother. Hey. Like I was saying earlier, brother, not every situation, you know what I'm saying, you're just going to just take it and just, you know, just deal with it the same way, brother. Certain situations, you've got to do what you got to do and do what you got to do and may the Lord be with you. Straight up, man. You know what I'm saying? We was talking about it earlier. Straight up. It says, because the carnal mind is enmity against the most side. That's right. For it is not subject to the law of Yahweh. That's right. You see, that's the thing. It's the law. The law of the most side. Even when you go into the law, you got certain laws dealing with dealing with uh, if two men strive or something like that, you know. See, and then call them minds got something to the law the most time. Hey, so the law, you know what I'm saying, brother? You got laws dealing with if, if, a man, if two men are striving. What does it mean to strive? To get into a fight, all right? And you got a woman that's pregnant, and y'all bump, y'all two big dudes, y'all bump into the woman, and she loses the baby, all right? The man whose child that is could execute judgment on you, man. You know? Because it's eye for eye, life for life, man. That means my kid is in, in a womb. So so wait a minute, that means that, that abortions, whether the kid is, is, is five months old in a womb or, or three months old or, or a fucking eight months old, six months old, it don't matter. That's murder, man. This is a society that embraces murder of little children. And all this, they take some shit, they stick it up in a woman's vagina, yeah. all right, and they crush the baby's head, man. Snap the neck. They, oh, you either crush the head or snap the neck. Because you know, when, when, when a child is born, they, 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 their bones are very soft, man. Yeah. All right? It don't take nothing for them to, you know what I'm saying? So you really gotta protect your kid when you, you know what I'm saying, you have a kid, man. Yo, know, you brothers know better than me. It says, the end is not subject to the law of the Most High. See, that's not subject to the law of the Most High. All right? Neither indeed can be. Neither indeed can be. That's the whole thing about it. All right? So if a nigga out there is eating pork, and he, the description's been brought out to him, and you can't be subject unto that, you'll call him man. You're a carnal man, bro. You know? Bring out the laws. I was going into it the other day, uh, Leviticus the 11th chapter. I seen a video, this Moabite chick, she eating fro a frog, and she steamed the frog. That's an amphibian, man. What the hell are you doing, man? All right? Now, you got certain things that are lawful that you wouldn't even believe are lawful. But you know the Lord said you can eat the beetle after his kind? The beetle after his kind. You can eat that. All right? The grasshopper after its kind. All right? 
I don't see nobody eat lined up to eat grasshoppers, but I do see a lot of people lined up to eat shrimp and crab and lobsters and shit. Yeah. All right? What about locusts? What about that? You can, you can eat, some, eat, some, eat some locusts, man. Grasshoppers? Yeah, I said, yeah, grasshoppers. Not crickets, grasshoppers. You know? So if you get caught out there in the woods, Right. You hear some chirping, you think, oh shit. Yeah. Uh, there's some crickets and grasshoppers, man. You know? Thanks, man. I'm all right, man. You know? Hey, 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 what you got? Yeah, so this is what I'm sorry, brother. It yeah. says, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please the most high. Mm -hmm. So you gotta, you gotta please the Lord in the spirit, man. Hey, hey, you dwell, you dwell in the spirit, you dwell in this truth, man. Straight up, man. You know? You feel me, man? Right. I try to be as spiritual as I can. All right? I try to be a spirit, but we still in the flesh. All right? So in certain things that's going to push you to that point, hey, brother, hey, I'm, hey, I pray the Lord be with me. That's all. You know? Yeah, brother. This is Hosea talking one. Yeah, the Lord had to also a controversy with Judah and will punish Jacob according to his ways. Yeah, well, Jake is all effed up, man. Jake is wicked as hell, man. I seen a video on World Star Hip Hop, the dude bust in the crib, and this dude, him and the dude's girl was butt naked, man. The nigga's on the bed with the dude's girl. The, the, the broad ran into, the, I guess he put the camera on and she ran into the bathroom, not trying to be exposed, and he's cursing him out. You've been screwing her this whole time, man. Sorry, bro. Sorry, man. <laughs> Wicked. Like we've been saying all along, you're screwing your homeboys, girls out there, and you know it was a nigga. Grimy ass nigga, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You know what's worse than that? You had guys that was in this thing of ours that didn't commit adultery, man, with brothers, women, man. That's real, I'm, I'm, that's real shit, man. I ain't bullshitting you, man. You had guys that we met. You know what I'm saying, man? And then school brothers, girls, man. Women, man. Okay? Hey, Seattle Snake. Yeah. yeah. And what the Lord do to him? The Lord, the Lord uh, debilitated him. You fell out of a window on a construction site. And you broke, the Lord broke your ass up, man. Now you got to be in a wheelchair. You remember Carlito's way when the dude was in a wheelchair? Look at me, man! <laughs> Look at me, man! I can't hump! I'm sitting in the bag! The Lord yeah. jacked your ass up, man! He had a stitch in Carlito's way when he was up in the office. Yeah. And he saw a Y on his head. <laughs> oh, man! Dude, he started going, oh, man! Look at me, man! I'm in a wheelchair, I can't hump! I'm sitting in the bag. All right, the Lord jacked your ass up, man. You feel what I'm saying, man? Rightfully so. All right. You don't be doing no that proves you got no fear to most side. You don't be doing no shit like that. He that he that he that um he that committed adultery. Lack of lack of understanding, man. Oh, it's closing up again. Yeah. Hey man, hey, so we, hey brother, we've been out here teaching our hearts out, man. I pray you brothers out there been edified. We're gonna give all praises to your house. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shalom, Bashem, Kakadash. Double eyes to your pastor, notice. Shalom to the elect. Shalom, Baba Bo.